hello guys welcome back to the channel today we are solving another lead code problem that is 904 fruit into basket so before jumping into the solution i would highly recommend you should read the problem statement on your own and give at least 15 to 30 minutes to this problem so let's get right into it our problem is asking that you are given two basket and these two basket you can only have one type of fruit for example if you have zeroth type of fruit in this basket then you can only collect zeroth type of fruit in this basket and in this basket if you have one -th type of fruit then you can only collect one -th type of fruit in this basket so it means that on you can only collect two types of fruits so what it means and what you have to return is how many fruits you can pick using these two ba baskets only and following that condition that if it contains zero type of fruits then it will only contain zero type of fruit if it contains one -th type of fruit then it will contain only one -th type of fruit so let's take an example to understand this is a fruits array so in this what you have to do is you have to use two buckets and what to do you can only take two types of fruits only so what you can do is if you take zero and one so how many fruits you can take if you take zero and one i wrote zero zero it will be zero and one if you take two types of fruit zero and one in the basket zero and one so you can only take these two so two total number of fruits let's try if we take one two fruits one type of fruit and two -th type of fruit so how many fruits we can have we have one one -th type and two two fruits of two types second type sorry not two types second type we have one fruit of one type and two fruits of second type so how many total fruits three fruits so in this case three fruits what we have to return maximum so we will return three so this is what we are doing we have to select the fruits that we have to that we have to take in our basket and we have to decide using which two fruits we can have maximum fruits taken because if there is zeroth fruit in the basket you can only take zeroth type of fruit if there is second type of fruit then you only can take second type of fruit in that basket so i hope this much is understandable what is problem and how we are dealing with it so can we rephrase it like this longest substring with two different character can we change something like this or instead of character we can name number instead of substring we can say subarray longest subarray with two different numbers so over here you can see this is a subarray and how many different numbers we have this is one and this is two we have two types of different number one and two if we try to, to take this we have three different type of number zero one two so this is not valid what we have to take longest subarray with two different numbers that's what we have to do so let's see which algorithm we should use i would say that is a no-brainer I would say sliding window as I have already discussed in many previous video in the case of subarray what we are doing as you can see in this we form this window we form this window why because we can take only two different things we took this we take took the answer in this case we have to now does it mean that it is the only answer so what we will do we will check this 
so we are forming continuous segments so whenever they, there is that case we use sliding window plus with variable size variable size why because we do cannot include exclude one just like that we have to see if using one we can have the longest so that's what we are doing so when we form this window we just decrease to this and again we increased it to check basically that's not happening that is happening but in what will be happening is that when our window size is something like this and we have three different things so what we do we shrink the size of this window zero is not included anymore again we have two things and we then we extend this window to check that we have same things like one and two for how long that's what you get not that's how you get sorry that's how you get the longest sub array because there is a condition of two different things here we got three different things that's why we decrease the window size now it's again two different thing then we again increase the window size and check for how long one and two are present so this is what we are doing so what will be our algo how we gonna do that so i would say first we will traverse it traverse it and what we have to have the account what we have to have the account of 0 and 1 or not 0 and 1 different things we have to have the frequency of different things so how we get the frequency of different thing maps but why we are taking maps so we are taking maps because for example when we were over here map size is 2 so whenever another thing another element is processed and it is different from the previous one the map size will increase so what it will indicate that what it will indicate that what it will indicate that this is no longer valid condition we have to decrease the size of window so that's why we are using map to get the frequency it is of this type int comma int why we are using this first of all to get the frequency frequency because we have duplicates and also to show that how many different things we have we have basically these both mean same thing because different frequency means how many things we have so i just write it more elaborate elab elaborately bad vocabulary so this is what we will do we will use a map why to calculate the frequency and also to indicate that that condition is invalid now what condition two size condition so when we will have this frequency we will always check if the size is greater than k or if size is less than k so in the this condition what we will do we will always calculate the length the max and minus start this is very basic thing how we are doing this how we are calculating in this case what we will do we will shrink shrink the window size that's what we are doing so let's see the code and understand what we are doing so this is a very basic thing and then start we usually do in the sliding window part this is uh, result and i don't know why i took this current sum there is no use of current sum yeah result the length so this is 
we are taking an ordered map because we don't want that number to be in sorted order we want just the frequency just the frequency and also how many different types of elements are present so we are just iterating using the end we are counting the frequency and if the frequency size is greater than 2 what does it mean it mean this case so 0 1 2 so 0 was 1 1 is 1 and again when this happens size is now 3 map size is now 3 that is why we are, we are using map because using map we can see that how many different types of elements we have without much hassle easy so when this happens what we do we decrease the size of window how we decrease it we increase the start decrease the size and also what we do we have to eliminate that frequency in order to remove it from the map because as you can see it is present in the map we have to remove this from the map so how we do we decrease it frequency because it doesn't mean that zero in this case zero appear one time but it doesn't mean that it will only appear one time it can appear many times so we have to decrease this frequency and check that if the frequency is now zero why I did start minus one because I increased the start over here already so we are pointing to the next number so that's why currently we are dealing with the previous number so that's why current number is start minus one if you know about this operator so this is what we are doing we are handling the current and if it if its frequency is zero we have to eliminate it because because in the case of map this is still size three because it doesn't mean something cannot have a frequency zero so we have to eliminate this so we eliminate it and other case was this we have to decrease it both are discussed why we are doing it and if this doesn't if it doesn't run in that case we are always calculating the length and after iterating the whole fruits vector or array we just return the answer so let's have a dry run of this code it is pretty much basic thing if you want more mastery in this sliding window you can watch my playlist it is it will be attached with this video so let's take this small example don't want to extend the length of video any long yeah this is the roots array to two so what we are doing please precisely see this n plus plus because you have to watch it n plus plus so and is over here s is over here and when this processed and is now over here and one is not processed but just end is pointing to one so o is one frequency size is still less than zero what we do n minus start and zero one two three end is pointing to one and start is on zero so we have length one length one now again now this time one is processed now e is pointing to three and this time frequency is updated now we have one one and we will check if the size is greater than zero no so again we do it so this time two minus zero what is it two length is changed this time we process two this time we have two one now the what is the size of this frequency map an ordered map i would say three so what we will do we will increase this s and simultaneously minus zero s as you can see i increase the s also decrease the frequency so s is pointing to here now we have to want to access this zero not this one because 
we haven't processed that one we have what we have processed zero so that's why i am doing start minus one to access this zero and what we will check if the frequency is zero yeah it is zero uh, and i already told you that if frequency is zero but it will still contribute in the map size so we have to want we have to remove this so we will remove this now now what we calculate is and i just forgot e is over here so what we do again 3 minus 1 2 nothing changes again this time now we process this 2 e is pointing to 4 and we have 2 is the size greater than 2 no we have only 1 and 2 only two different types of numbers this time we again calculate it but this time 4 minus 1 it's 3 and we update it and we just return it as you can see this is the one that we are talking one two two so let's submit it and see if it is running or not yeah it is running i hope i was able to make my intuition pretty much clear if i if i was so consider subscribing to the channel liking this video and sharing with others and 95 percent of the people you don't subscribe so consider subscribing it doesn't cost you anything so uh, in the end you have to do what you have to do so keep grinding you guys are awesome see you in the next one bye bye